No, that, that, that is not how this month is going. And that's 80 sketches. If you were wondering what I was doing during the holidays this year. <laughs> oh yeah, and I had to go to the city today and decided to, hey, uh, just meet up with a friend and let's catch up on the Doctor Who holiday special. And uh, yeah, I totally managed to uh, burn my hand with her tea kettle. <laughs> so that's the lesson, never never handle unfamiliar tea kettles uh, when you're on a deadline. Um, essentially, never leave your desk when you're on a deadline. The outside world is dangerous. Other people's homes are dangerous. The unfamiliar is dangerous, you know. Keep your life and your hands safe by never leaving your own four walls. Do you see this? This? This is all I, I still have to do this month. That one, and that one, and that one, that one, and that one. So that's five illustrations. Then there's another illustration you can't see because it's all digital. So that's six illustrations. And they're all nice ones and I want them to be amazing because the projects are really cool and um, I never want to disappoint my clients. As you can tell that's more than one finished illustration a week. That means no weekends. And yeah I also have this little workshop. Tiny tiny little workshop that is amazing and great and I am looking forward to it but I also need to learn about one and a half hour of presentation by heart or at least close to it because otherwise you know, the thing is i know what the topic is about i know the information but if i i don't keep to my script i just start rambling and rambling and uh, then nobody will get to ask me any questions and I might forget something really important and also my script is very good. Yeah. And, and that's everything that I have planned so far. I mean, it's live, something will come up, right? Anyways, I will get to go back to work now. Here's a really, really silly little, very low cost art hack if you work with acrylic paint and don't want to spend money on a stay wet palette uh, i got this this bag at the airport like last year and it's a ziploc bag and you can just put your wet paint in there and you lock it and it will be fine until well, at least the next day, so uh, that has really improved my life and my waste of acrylic paint. No, actually, uh, this month is really going to test me and, and us, you know, this, this video thingy thing, because my plan is to have one video about something each month that I have probably recorded at some other time because I like to have things done ahead of schedule so I things don't get as stressful as they are now uh, but one is supposed to be like a vlog about the month so I have to to work on that I want to work on that while I'm also doing my freelance stuff and uh, when I was thinking about starting this channel or at least you know doing something with this channel I did promise myself that I would commit to it and that I would treat it as seriously as I would any other work because I know myself, I know when things get busy some things need to, you know, be cut out of my schedule because I just can't do everything I want to do and I want to make sure this is not one of them and so this, this month is really going to test me because I 
I don't really know how I'm going to do all of this, but so far everything has always worked out and I need to trust myself more when it comes to that. Uh, I'm just crying a little bit inside for all the, the stuff I wanted to do this month that I, I won't be able to. And of course that is my personal work, right? Um, my personal work that isn't this. I wanted to edit a manuscript of mine. So it would be close to final, to something I really love that I can give it to other people to read so I can get some feedback on that. But uh, that will have to wait until in two years, I don't know. I also wanted to work on my Dryas project a little bit, but uh, that will have to wait until April. And I also wanted to actually uh, have like a, a standalone personal piece I've wanted to work on since last September. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they, they all have to go. They, they have to make space in the schedule for this. And I should have known when I wrote down all my plans for January. I already knew I would have to work on this. I was too ambitious. You know, past me is always too ambitious, you know. They're always like, oh yeah, and this I want to do, and this I want to do, and this would be cool to do. And then I, then now me it has arrived at the month and it's like, <laughs> no, no, none of these things are going to happen. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah, uh, because I actually want to sleep and it's winter so, and I, I certainly have some hibernation going on right now. I'm in bed for like 10 hours. <laughs> um, yeah, I also want to do like some exercise because I've been sick in December and I've also moved very, very little and I'm in really bad shape and I kind of need to do something about that. And I also want to eat food and not eat terrible food. So yeah, it's just taking care of yourself and your health and doing all the client work you need to do is already, already um, quite a lot. I really hate how essentially if, if you take care of yourself in a way that is healthy for you, uh, it already takes so much time. And I don't think it's bad that it takes up so much time, but if you look at the, the schedule for, for people who work like a 9 to 5 or even look at uh, my workload and it's like you literally have to decide whether you want to <laughs> or whether you want to do your work and get paid or whether you want to be healthy or whether you maybe also want to have fun and meet people or something. Uh, it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Um, and I think we all know that by now. I have the luxury that I can adjust my schedule, but even I am ultimately always gonna prioritize this in the end because I have a deadline and I want to get paid and I need to pay my rent and all these things. But um, I don't have to commute, so that is a huge bonus for me. <laughs> and I have probably more time overall. Also, I don't go out much and I don't, need to see people that much so more time for this uh no but it's a really cool project i'm really looking forward to having the final the final product <laughs> you know, that's the thing about illustration it's always exciting when you get the project and you think wow this is going to be so cool when it's done and then you're sitting down like oh i have to actually do this it's gonna take so so long <sighs> it'll take so much time I, I've literally asked for this one. Like I asked my client whether I could work on this and they said yes. You know, I'm so grateful they um, they extended my deadline a bit because I fell sick and my deadline was so tight that falling sick for three days meant I wouldn't be able to meet it anymore. So I asked them last month. I was like, yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> Give me two more weeks. Um, so yeah. Now if you're if you're a freelancer and you're like, eh, I can't meet my deadlines, tell your clients and tell your clients as soon as you know that you can't can't do it. And usually, especially in publishing, um, 
people can usually work around that but it's important you tell them when you know because this stuff doesn't never really come out of nowhere unless there's an emergency and don't don't just tell them like on the day when you are supposed to to hand the work in you know if if it turns out that actually you can make the work until the deadline and and it was unnecessary for you to get an extension then that is good you know but it's it's better you you ask up front than not making not making it uh, on the day and then they have to kind of reorganize on the fly yeah just give people time you know communication my friends yeah yeah so so much for that um that i did not even want to talk about all that i need to go back to this one specifically he wants to come inside he wants to come inside so badly so alone nobody cares about him oh. Oh, poor boy i know what my job is kitten It's cold and wet and grey, but at least they're nice mushrooms. Why are there so many people outdoors today? All I want is to check out this lichen in blessed solitude. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh. Yep, this entire area is flooded now. But this one's a joy. So, I just came back from a walk, which is really great because. I haven't left the house yesterday. I worked 10 hours and then spent two hours drafting an email because I have absolutely nothing better to do than drafting emails. And today has been really weird and I'm just glad I made it out before the sun went down. No, no, I just continued drafting my email and then it was like already 10 in the morning and I, I finished some work, which is great, but in the middle of it, I... Uh, my my graphic tablet pen, my, my Cintiq pen started not working correctly, and... There are fewer things um, that, that are more disturbing. Unnerving when you're on a deadline and your most important tools just... <laughs> just get fuck you and and your expensive tools right so it's like no <laughs> but but it was an easy fix so it's just annoying also i i read some wonderful fiction novels the other day so while i was working so i finished um he who drowned the world so i, I finished that series which is Oh, I love it, I love it. Everyone's just horrible, but you're still rooting for them. It's amazing. And I finished that, the last novel from, from Freya Mask's series, but I don't remember the title of any of the books or the series name. I, I don't know, I read so many books, it's just a blur, essentially. But the, it was just so much fiction, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read a non-fiction book today. And uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that any any books about veganism or carnism or any anything in in that general area 
they, they will eventually feature a bit where <laughs> where it's all about the app absolutely cruel things that are being done to to animals in industrial farming practices and yeah at some point I was just kind of crying onto my Cintiq and you know starting to feel, to feel like I want to puke and then I was like maybe this was not the best decision <laughs> maybe this is not making you more productive <laughs> yeah uh, I, I kind of kind of quit the audiobook then although it's like it was a really interesting interesting um interesting not not another interesting book but i don't know it's also it's not like like it's not like it has to convince me of anything i eat so few animal products it's <laughs> uh, i i am certainly not the problem there but ah uh, yeah yeah and i own I don't know, I finished something earlier than I thought, which is good. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to get this day over with and hope it's gonna get better. <laughs> also, I've decided I'm just gonna tell my, my workshop participants that I was too busy to learn the presentation by heart, which is the truth, and I'll be reading the script because otherwise I'm just, I, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to manage this. <laughs> uh, if there's one thing I'm really learning this month, it's that I can't do all the things I want to do. I just can't. And I need to prioritize and I need to decide that some things will need to be done at a later stage of my life. And that if I want to introduce some things into my life, I have to cut back on others and I have to let go of others and it's really hard because I'm I think I'm one of the people who's like I can do everything I want to do everything everything all at once now and it just doesn't work like that somebody got rid of the Christmas tree in a nature reserve I am not surprised though disappointed we really don't deserve trees actually how about we just stop having Christmas trees in the first place and instead of having growing monocultures of them full of pesticides <laughs> are that we just kind of <laughs> put into our living rooms for three days a year and then throw them away uh, how about we just plant something useful instead like forests that would be a good idea right like healthy forests instead I mean why do we really have Christmas trees? Do we have a human right to Christmas trees? I don't think so. It would be better for everybody if we just stopped having them. We could put ornaments on something else. I was just hearing something crackling in the bushes and I was like, oh, what sort of cute animal might this be? And yeah, it turned out it was just some guy taking a wee. Ah, uh, I'm dead. Ugh. See far off in the distance there are humans ice skating on the now frozen flooded areas. I will not go there because I do not wish to encounter humans. Not not more humans. One peeing old guy was enough. I love how her frost is just making spider webs visible everywhere. Came out for a sunset but just was grey, continued to be grey, and then it just got dark. Yeah, thanks for listening. <laughs> no! Yeah, they will survive, they will survive, it's all fine. <laughs>